guys, it's time for another first day. First impressions. We've got another great Migron that I think you guys are going to like. Let's turn this around and take a look at the Moyaro from above. Guys, <laughs> we have another great little Migron knife that came in from one of my paying members. This is the Moyaro, and it's the first day in pockets. And it was basically brand new in box. I had only had it out to look at it uh, when it came in. I've been carrying this since about five o'clock this morning, cut up a bunch of cardboard with it. This is a great, comfortable little knife. So you're looking at a 14C 28 end blade. It's a drop point that's done in a flat grind that has a beautiful behind the edge thickness. It's not super thick. It's also not too thin in my opinion. It slices really well. 14C28N is a steel that takes an insane edge. The factory edge on this was pretty good. It probably needs to be touched up after the amount of cardboard I cut. The finish on the blade has held up. Now I know that's not important to a lot of people, but it is kind of to some people. So I like to point out, this is what it looked like when I first got it. Here's a couple pictures of what it looked like when I first got it. Now I cut up a lot of cardboard. Um, the micarta handles on this are done really well. It's not slick. They have not polished these. I do, I do have to admit, micarta is beautiful when it's polished to a high sheen, but you'll lose a lot of the grip that you get when it's just this coarse micarta like this. It's done in a black micarta that also has a matching black micarta backspacer, which is something I'm really starting to fall in love with is companies that do that. Not only is it attractive, it saves weight. It's not as expensive. The liners on it are black as well. So you only have pops of color with your hardware. Beautiful milled pocket clip on this. Look at this long area of pressure here. So it's not got a sharp point that is hard to get in and out of your pocket, but the tension on it is just about perfect. It is a longer clip, but it hasn't seemed to catch on stuff today as some of the other clips that I have that are the longer clips do. The access lock on this is so buttery smooth. There, There's some knives that do the access lock that just really, really, and I mean buttery smooth, like when you allow the tension to stay on it, it's just so polished on that as it travels along there. You can, if you can get your finger out of the way, Mike, you can reverse flick off of this and a thumb flick off of it with this big aperture, nice big aperture. Um, the access lock does have a tendency to get in my way with that reverse flick, but it definitely is super easy to just treat this like all your other access locks and flip it like that. The weight reduction on this gives it a nice neutral balance. The balance point is just about here. It's not too heavy here. It's not too heavy forward. So if you like that in a knife, that's what you're looking for. The handles are contoured really, really nicely. So when you're cutting, you've got a very good grip on this. You can get up here on this full area that basically is a full finger choil. And then also you can get back here if that's what you want. The the dip here and then a widening, it gives it a really comfortable grip. So you've got this fairly straight spine and then it dips down, but then it's been contoured out nice and thick, fairly, I mean, they're kind of radius handles, but they're nice and thick and it just fills your hand really well. Pocket clip just disappears in your hand. So I, I really dig this so far. There's very few things that I have found that I don't like about this knife, but I do have to point those out. So when we turn this around after you guys hear from a sponsor, I'll tell you the couple little negative things that I have about this knife. Guys, nothing sucks worse than breaking a set of shoelaces. I mean, that's why I, when I was in the military, I always kept multiple sets of shoelaces in my locker because if you break one, you gotta replace them. Well, there's an option. There is a company called Tempered Trail that is offering almost indestructible laces at affordable prices. You can see they have a wide selection scrolling up here. Huge selection of colors and types that you can look at and pick. You pick your length, you pick your color style. Go check them out. My buddy Nathan has been has been kind enough to offer you guys a discount when you check out with my coupon code Crazy Sharp or with the link down below in the description. So thanks for sponsoring us, Nathan. He's a great guy. Let's turn this around and get back to the knives. Okay, just a couple small things. And then these are basically me things. Um, they didn't provide, like, I, I love the fact there's not a lanyard hole, but they didn't provide you a post. If they could provide you a post, like just mill an area out here and then run a post through so you could put a lanyard on this, I think it would be great because this is a, a fairly decent sized work knife that some people might want a lanyard on. Next thing, the 
Aperture is great, like I said, but I think I would have been happier if this had thumb studs. The aperture is really close to the scales. You can see it actually dips down in and it makes it, it, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Now, like I said, the action on it's nice and free, so you can do it, but I think that this would have been better with a thumb stud because you could have put it further up towards the spine and had that little bit of offset. Um, and these stand up a little prouder than I want them to. Uh, the posts for the access lock, they stand up a little prouder and that does get in my way when I'm, when, if I'm trying to do reverse flick, you can see my fingers right on it. So I think those could have been a little bit lower profile. And the last thing, and this is out of character for me, this pocket clip needed to be further. This needed to carry deeper because the fact is I, I wanted to carry this in the forward part of my pocket and I can't. If this had, I, I don't want to change the pocket clip. I would change the positioning and put the pocket clip back here at a, at a, maybe put it at a different angle and have it further back here where you could have a deeper carry because it basically leaves an inch, inch and a half of the knife sticking up. And uh, if you're a bigger guy like me and you're getting older and you got a, a little bit of a beer belly, that's going to poke into your gut no matter where it's at in the pocket. I have really gotten to where I dig the deeper carry pocket clips. But as far as a $70 knife, this thing is awesome. So if you're looking for one, like I said, I, I made sure I put a thing down below that there's a purchase link down below and I make, mark the price with a, with a thing below. I will make sure I do that. But yeah. I don't think you could go wrong with this. This thing's great. I have not found a Migron that I didn't like yet. So let's turn this around. Is it a yep or a not on this first day? Yeah. I mean, things might change. Um, there's a couple things I did notice, you know, that, that I'm not going to point out now, but that could be things that I don't like in the future, but we shall see. So right now on first day, yeah, it's a yup all day, twice on Sunday. Really, really dig it. So let's turn this around, do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. There you go, guys. Um, Migron just kind of knocks it out of the park every time when it comes to bang for your buck. This is a great knife at $70, way more than I would expect at $70. So there'll be a purchase link down below. Speaking of links, my sponsors are down below as well. They have links. You can check them out. Coffee Brand Coffee Temper Trail have discounts built into their links. Speaking of discounts, I have a coupon code for you guys that will save you 40% at Beyond EDC, 10% at Fair and Forge Knifeworks, 10% at Katsu Knives, and 10% at Rosecraft Blades. And I also have got an Amazon store down below where you can take that pin it through your browser and use it for any of the shopping you want to do. I also have got links to most of the major vendors down below. I get a percentage of it at checkout. It doesn't cost you anything and it supports the channel. There's other ways to do it as well. Down below, there is a membership where you can take a look at my membership. I do exclusive content. I do giveaways. I have a premium tier sharpening tutorial series and a private discord. There's also a public discord down below where it says join the community where you can join in and talk to me. There's a DM feature. So if you've got questions, you can't get a hold of me in the comments section. You can always reach out to me there. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.